Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review The Bourne Legacy. So, The Bourne Legacy stars Jeremy Renner, Rachel Weiss, and Edward Norton. And what this film is about, it's about, you know, when uh, Aaron Cross and Mara find out about when there's a corruption in this organization led by Edward Norton, they have to go on the run because now they're being hit. Uh, hunted down by this said organization. So, what I think of The Bourne Legacy. It's an okay movie. I mean, it's not terrible. I've heard some people say that this is a terrible film. It's far from that. But at the same time, it's not very good in my opinion. It's just a very bland movie. It really is. So, yeah. So, let's get to my positives because I do have some positives with the film. And my positives are... Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner was great in the film. I think he did a really good job as Aaron Cross, and he's the only character I cared about in this entire movie. Really, honestly, because he's the only interesting character, and he's the only guy that seems like he's caring. You know what I mean? Like, the only actor that seems like they're giving a performance. So, yeah, but we'll get more into the characters afterwards, but Jeremy Renner was just really... The only character I cared about in this film. And Jeremy Renner did an absolutely great job. I loved him in the film because he was just great. He did a really great job portraying um, Aaron Cross. So yeah, like I said, the only character I cared about in the entire film. The action, the action's really well filmed in my opinion. For the most part actually, you know. Some great action in my opinion. There's not too much of it which kind of disappointed me. But it's fine. Well, not really actually. But we'll get more into that. The action is great when it happens, and there's some really great action, so yeah. The, uh, how Aaron Cross is very tactical and very stealth-like, like how he's just really well-trained and how he is, like, like I said, like Jason Bourne, he's very tactical, very smart, knows what he's doing, and I like that. And he, that honestly makes, makes him a great, you know, a great assassin, if a great assassin and agent, you know, so yeah. That's great. I love that about the character. The writing's great. I thought I had some great writing in my opinion. Um, the directing. The directing's great. This is directed by Tony Gilroy, who has written the other three Bourne films, but he's directing this one as well. So, that's cool. And he does a great job directing the film. I think it has some great directing in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, there's some good pacing moments, honestly. Not too many, but there is some good pacing moments. In my opinion, I do think it has some good pacing moments, so yeah. Now let's get into my negatives, because I do have a lot of negatives with the film. And my negatives are, the the rest of the characters, they're very bland and boring, honestly. Like, they really are. They're just lifeless characters, honestly. They're, there's no, no really personality to any of the other characters, so yeah. Like, Rachel Weiss could care less about her character. She's very bland. Boring. I like her as an actress, you know. She's been good in other films, but here, she's just boring, bland, and even can get annoying at some parts, honestly. So, yeah. Edward Norton, once again, another great actor. He's given better performances. This is one of his weaker performances. He's just boring and bland, honestly. He's not all that interesting. All he does is just give instructions to everybody. That's all he really does in the film. And he's just boring, and I could care less about his character. So, yeah. Oscar Isaac, he's even in the film for a little bit, not too much, but they he, they waste his character, and he was even boring as well. So yeah, the rest of the characters are bland and boring. Sometimes the action could get a little bit quick cutty, like there were some quick cuts in like the house action scene where where it takes place in a house. It could get a little bit quick cutty at parts, and I was like, eh, that that wasn't too good in my opinion. But only some parts, not too many. So yeah. The story, the story is very bland, honestly. I could, it's a very bland story, in my opinion. And, like, there's a lot of talking, you know, in the original three boring films. But here, it's just boring because, like I said, the characters are very boring. You can care less about them. And just, the story wasn't all that interesting. So, yeah. Um, the fact that there's not enough action in this film. Now, I'm not saying that there should be action every five seconds. Because that's over taking it just a little bit but you know to me that's what the Bourne movies are known for is their action and there's not that much of that in this film and I was kind of disappointed by that and I didn't really like that with the film so yeah 
the constant mentioning of Jason Bourne. Now, they don't do it in, like, the rest of, like, the second half or the third half. It's mostly in the first half. It just got annoying to me where it's like, Jason Bourne this, Jason Bourne that. Hey, remember Jason Bourne? Yeah, he was in the other three Bourne films. This is a part of the Bourne series. And it got annoying. Honestly, I'm like... Just calm that down. I already know it's a part of the Bourne series. You don't need to remind me every five seconds and shove it down my throat. It just got annoying. And it's probably the one of the worst parts of the film, honestly. So, yeah. And the movie is boring. It's boring. It really is. It is very boring at parts. And um, I almost nearly fell asleep at parts, honestly. Because it was just boring. It really was. And so, yeah. Just very boring. So overall, The Bourne Legacy, although not a terrible movie, it's still not very good. And it could have done a lot better with this film, so yeah. So it's time for my fish grade on The Bourne Legacy, and my fish grade on The Bourne Legacy is a C+. It's an okay film, far from a terrible movie, but it is my least favorite of The Bourne series, so yeah. It's just an okay movie at best, so it gets a C+. So I'd like to thank you all for watching my reviews of the Bourne movies. I cannot wait for the new film, Jason Bourne, coming out this July. I cannot wait. So yeah, thank you all for watching my Bourne reviews. So what did you guys think of the Bourne Legacy? Leave in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599 and we will see you all uh, later. Peace. <laughs>